Hi there and welcome to your new Toyota. In this video, I will be going over some of the buttons to the left of the steering wheel, on the steering wheel, and a few of the buttons near your gear shifter. Let's get started. To the left of the steering wheel, you may have more or less buttons depending on your model. On this particular model, we have three buttons to click. The first one is to dim or brighten the dash screen. By scrolling with your finger over the button, you can dim or brighten the screen of the dash to enhance its visibility in daytime or nighttime light. The next button is the automatic high beam. When you click this button and turn your high beams on while night driving, it will automatically dim and brighten your high beams with oncoming traffic. The next button is the windshield wiper de-icer feature. By selecting this button on cold winter mornings when you're warming up your car, it will warm a membrane of the front of the windshield which will then melt the ice surrounding your windshield wipers. Let's go to the steering wheel. These arrows allow you to click through different menus on your dash screen. Depending on the menu, you may need to select down to see different submenus of your vehicle features. This button is the back arrow. If you are stuck in a submenu on your dash screen, you may select the back arrow to return to the regular menu. This is the pick up and hang up button. If you have a Bluetooth device connected to the vehicle and someone calls you while you are in the vehicle, you may pick up and hang up the call, all while keeping your hands on the steering wheel. Similarly, you can increase or decrease the volume of the call or the radio or the auxiliary cord by a click of a button not having to move your hand off the steering wheel. The last button on the left side is the voice command button. You may click this if you have embedded navigation. You can tell the vehicle where you would like to go or give an address. If you have a Bluetooth device connected to the vehicle, you may also select this and tell the vehicle a contact that you would like to call. To the right on your steering, you have a mode button. By clicking the mode button, you can click between AM stations, FM stations, Sirius radio stations if applicable, or Bluetooth. You can also select next track or use these buttons to scan to find a radio station you'd enjoy. These buttons are to work your cruise control. On this model, we have radar cruise control. When you select this button, you'll notice a green icon appear in the corner of your screen. It alerts you that your radar cruise control is now active. Similar to a regular cruise control, you can increase or decrease your set speed. You can set your speed first with the bottom and resume speed with the top button. You may also cancel at any time to stop the cruise control feature. Your radar cruise control feature allows the vehicle to detect if a vehicle in directly in front of yours is going slower than your set speed. If that is the case, it will decrease your speed automatically to match the vehicle in front of you until you pass that vehicle it will automatically then increase your speed to what you had it set as. By selecting this button while your radar cruise control is on, it pulls up three blue lines. This is the sensitivity of the radar cruise control. You can select three, two, or one car lengths. This will allow you to decrease your speed with radar cruise control automatically between one, 
two or three car lengths from the car directly in front of you. If you would rather just use the regular cruise control option, select and hold the button and you'll notice that the light is now just a regular cruise control icon. The last button on the steering wheel is your lane departure alert or lane tracing assist. Please note that often this is not used for under 50 kilometers an hour as the car will sense that you're most likely in a residential zone or a parking lot. By selecting this button, you will see a white icon and two white lines appear on your screen. You can select this button to turn the feature on and off. If you unintentionally sway over the lines on the road when they are detected by the vehicle, this means that if you do not put your blinker on when you are changing lanes, it will alert you by turning the line, whichever line you're going over, orange. It may also alert you audibly. If you continue to sway unintentionally, the vehicle will steer assist you back to be in the middle of the road. This feature is easily selected off with a click of a button. Let's go over some of the features by the gear shift. This button is your electronic parking brake. When you shift into park, this button will go red automatically and turn your parking brake on. When you shift out of park, it will turn it off. The hold button is to hold your car in place while say you're waiting for a train. Instead of putting it in park, you can select this button, take your foot off the brake, and your car will not move again until you put your foot on the gas pedal. This is your traction control off button. Please note, that your traction control is automatically on your vehicle. With the traction control on, this feature works with the ABS braking system in your vehicle. For example, if you are driving on the road and your front left tire hits a muddy spot or an icy spot on the road and loses traction, while this feature is on, it will notify your vehicle that you're losing traction in the tire and the ABS system will turn on and it will pump the brakes on that tire until it is back in sync with the rest of the tires that have traction. This allows you to exit a slippery spot on the road safely. When you turn this feature off, it will notify you on your dash. Some people turn this off if they are going off-roading or in certain situations if they are stuck in snow or mud to allow the most power to go to the wheels. If you click and hold this button, the dash will also let you know that your pre-collision brake system is turned off and your vehicle stability control is turned off. This is a complete shutdown of your safety traction features. Clicking this button again will turn every feature back on.